Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Ekaterina Sky in the town of Oroville, and I am visiting with this wonderful young woman who just created this mural for our village, and I will let her share more with you as I interview her. So let us begin with um, asking Ekaterina the four questions for Rev on the Road here. So Ekaterina, the first one is what brings you joy? Wow, so many things bring me joy. I try to look at many things in a positive way and to almost ignore the negatives because everything in life is how we perceive it. Um, but the things that most bring me joy is of course nature and animals. When I'm very close to an animal, I forget about everything that's happening in my life because I feel that they're channeling something divine and something that's bigger than us and it really allows us to reconnect with that energy. So. Wow. And you are very close to animals. <laughs> I'm going to pan out once again so people can see the artwork that you just completed um, in the last day. We have a palm tree in the middle of the... <laughs> tell, will you tell us a little bit about this first? Okay, so this is a painting of a leopard in Oroville. Initially, Oroville didn't have any vegetation in this land. Why? Because initially it was striped off of it in order to have uh, farms uh, for animals. So when Orvillians came along, they started planting trees and they planted about uh, more than 2 million um, trees. So right now the wildlife starts to come back and they hope that leopards will come back as well to rebalance the biodiversity in this area. And they actually saw one nearby, so we're really hoping for it. And that's why leopards' eyes are here, to remind us of the importance of the animals and how our actions affect them. And hopefully these, this beautiful leopard will attract more with its wonderful <laughs> eyes. Um, and then next question is, what is your passion in life? My passion in life is art, of course. Every time I have a brush in my hand, I forget as well about everything that's happening in my life. And I feel like I go to a different planet when it's all happening and I channel something, something different and something unique. And yeah, I mean, art for me is everything. Okay. And so it sounds like you are living that passion. That's my follow-up question. <laughs> um, also, what is your happy place? If you could find any place in the world that just brings you that connection of happiness when you go there? I call it Norka. Norka is like a little cave in Russia. It's basically here of my husband. It's cuddling my husband. It's my, it's, my, it's my safe place. It's a place where I can restore myself and forget about anything. And no, no matter where I am in the world and he's with me, I, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't carry your happy place with you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Alright, and uh, let's see, the, the fourth question is what wisdom would you like to share with the world? I would love to share that no matter what anyone tells you, you can do anything you set your mind up to. Because I was told I could never become an artist, I was told that it's impossible, A, I'm a girl, B, there's no money in it, and you need to do something more stable. And I said no, I want to do what I love and I want to be happy every single day of my life and so I truly believe that if we really love what we do and if we do have a passion and most importantly if we put time into it, day by day hard work always pays off and I think that's the words of my wisdom, just follow your dreams, follow your heart and everything will be just fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing all your information and wisdom and being part of my project as well. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs>